Let's see what the questions are. Hey everyone, my name's Jacqueline and I'm a 17 year old Australian who makes videos in her bedroom. My name is Lauren Cashwell. I'm 19 and I'm a fashion videographer in Paris, France. Um, but on YouTube, I make makeup and beauty videos. Hey, what's up everyone? My name's Tremaine Hayho. Um, I make YouTube videos, I guess I do that. My videos are kind of a bit of everything, but I like to center around kind of cosplay, video games, kind of nerdy culture. I have two main channels, uh, Heyo Studios, which is a, a place where I make like sh kind of short film style uh, videos um, that are mainly like psychological and uh, horror, like, <laughs> I don't know, like psychological horror uh, shorts. I also have a personal channel, uh, Tremaine Heyo, uh, where I go over, um, where I do like personal development videos and I do vlogs and stuff. Um, I'm a guy that like loves life. I love to promote life um, in any way, shape, or form. I think that a YouTuber is somebody who has an idea that they want to share with somebody um, and there's a lot of different categories for that you know there's life or travel um, or in my case beauty um, and then it's you know it expands past advice of course but for mostly for what I do is to help people figure things out um, the easy way you know when I was 13 I didn't have anybody to teach me how to do hair and makeup so I had to figure it all out myself, um, which is really complicated. And so I think it's nice to be able to share that with somebody. A YouTuber is someone who makes their own content for YouTube, specifically for the YouTube audience. I think the true YouTubers are the people who, you know, get behind or in front of a camera and really put themselves out there. It's a hard thing to do, and the internet can be a scary place, as we all know. So I think that's what makes a true YouTuber. And putting something on the internet is, uh, you know, it's a very, very powerful thing. I think video is like probably the most powerful thing you can do and you can create and you can create something that, you know, you can share with a loved one or a friend or someone you hate, whatever. I think that YouTubers definitely value their audience. It's nice to have subscriptions and comments and ratings and whatever, you know. Even if it's constructive criticism, that's nice, you know. I just about hop around and jump and skip and dance anytime I see that somebody's left me something on YouTube because it takes so much effort to make one of those videos and so when you know that somebody's seen it and they really liked it or that it helped them or something you know it feels really good to know that your work wasn't in vain. I think we all kind of value creativity and freedom of expression because like your channel is your little corner of the internet like you can put whatever you want on your channel and you can say whatever you want and no one can tell you otherwise like I value that connection between making videos and then people that watch the videos and comment and uh, and all that stuff and, and I value that connection that you have that you know it's a real thing a lot of people think that it's some stupid thing like you throw up a dumb video and like people watch it and whatever that's the end of the day but people's lives are affected by video like and it's crazy like you can really affect people positive or negative uh, through through video, so I really value that. There's a general stigma about YouTubers, you know, that we're a little bit weird, which maybe we are. Some people may feel a bit, you know, uneasy about carrying a camera through public or whatever. And I remember when I did, um, I recently filmed a video of a trip through the Père Lachaise Cemetery, and I was just like, so I'm walking through the cemetery, and this is that, and this is that. And then somebody will round the corner, and I'll just like curl into this little ball and like duck my phone into my coat. And you know, it's because people really they just think you're so strange and they don't understand it. Um, 
but at the same time they love to see the finished product of it which is it's strange to me thinking of ideas can really get difficult just like any sort of when you're out of inspiration for an art piece or you're out of inspiration for a story Getting out of inspiration for videos is really annoying <laughs> and you can't force it. If you force it, your content will look forced and people won't enjoy it. How is it being Jedi Jesus? It has its perks. Tell us what are some key elements to a day in the life of Jedi Jesus? Well, it's, I work at wine industry so that helps. Oh but... really? What about nice. Hey, okay. any parting words Jedi Jesus? Oh, uh, may the force be with you. Yes. <laughs> I guess the downside of being a YouTuber is that internet doesn't close. Because it's not closed, it's, oh, there's always work to do all the time, any and all the time. There's always a video to be made. There's always something, you know, a new viral hit. Like, for instance, right now it's the Harlem Shake. There's still work to be done, and you still have to keep up that energy and keep that flow and keep your audience engaged and all that stuff so uh it's a, it's a, a lot of hard work i guess is what i'm saying is that it's a ton of work and it's a ton of hard work is it worth it at the end yes hell yes pretty much we need to get six people in a five person car two hours away to windmill city then rent a u-haul then somebody's got to drive the u-haul while well, another guy drives another car with the filmer in it filming me and two other guys fighting in the back of this U-Haul going 70 down the freeway and we don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're <clears throat> going through the process of <laughs> writing, writing and process it is. making a music video, which wasn't a music video until yesterday. yesterday. <laughs> At 7 p.m. That is good news that we're doing a music video because now we don't have to worry about getting a sound person. But we have to worry about a lot more. <laughs> Not to mention getting dancers, backup band, camera people, freaking extras, club extras. locations, uh. and everything for a little bit more than free. Maybe we can go to an Indian reservation <laughs> and steal their Maybe we can. <laughs> I've found that if people try to kind of cut you down for making YouTube videos, all you need to do is be proud of yourself for it, you know, and usually they can appreciate that. Um, yeah, never be ashamed to create. And then another thing is hate mail. It's not fun, you know, especially on a beauty channel. Oh, you know, you're ugly or you can't do your own makeup or what's up with your hair, stuff like that, or like you look the same in every video, you know. And it's just like, what do you take the time for, you know? And so, but that that can be a really negative side about it. Um, but you know, I think it's easy to just kind of block those things out because you also get so much positive feedback as well. So it's really nice. I want people to know. I want you to know. Yes, you in the back seat. I want people to know that uh, YouTubers are cool people. If you have ever written a comment like hating on that person or saying like, oh, you're a, you know, saying whatever you, you've said, uh, that people pay attention to that. I guess leave the hate behind and, and, and they're real people just like anyone else. So act as if you were right in front of that person. You know, I mean, even though there's that barrier of the internet where you can literally say whatever the hell you want, which is the beauty of it, keep in mind that, you know, people, YouTubers are people too. What I would like people to know about YouTubers is be kind. Be kind to them. So much work goes into their video. I mean, really, so much. Um, and when you, you know, you take three seconds to write a negative comment, it can really, it can really, you know, hurt them. Um, because you're basically going up and saying, hey, I didn't like the way your brain worked, you know, why did you put this video together? They're not just a face on a screen. You know, there's a person behind those videos and I think people forget about that. Creating content is important to us and we love doing it. So next time we're vlogging around you, maybe don't yell out in the background, maybe. <laughs>